minus 36. We have the difference of two squares, though. A letter raised to an even exponent is always a square. And then I'm tracing over to the right. And I want to trace to the point where x is 1. And here's a problem involving a hot air balloon. The problem says an object is dropped from a balloon 1,600 feet above the ground. If we just think about it like that, think about the fraction like that, this is 9 divided by the, 4. The notion is that on a curved graph, the rate of change changes. Not only does it change from interval to interval, but it changes from point a to point. The most interesting characteristic of the ellipse is a reflective quality between the foci, as shown here. An emission from one focus will bounce off the wall of the ellipse and reflect upon the other focus. The space shuttle is composed of three parts. One part would be the, the two solid rocket boosters. We'll consider that as one part. Another part is the orbiter. And a third part is this big external fuel now, tank. The most remarkable thing about this, and these numbers are, are really impressive on their own, but all of this is achieved in two minutes of travel. In two minutes, the shuttle is going 3,500 miles per hour. The shuttle to be 25 degrees. So at this moment in time, we measure that angle to be 25 degrees. Now, how high is the shuttle at that particular instant? We're thinking in terms of this idea to, to identify domain. For range, we're thinking about how high it is. What vertical distances are involved here? Uh, on this graph. Well, we go all the way up to 2 for the highest vertical distance, and the lowest vertical distance is all the way down here at negative 3. 